right, everybody. Welcome back in the Golden Tea Lounge. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. We're kicking things off early this week with a Freaky Friday preview. Probably do six to seven holes here of the All Hole 11, our best of series. Uh, last week, you guys saw the Hole 10. We did a couple of streams. Couldn't break that 30 under, but that's another discussion for another day. But this Friday, another $2,000 prize pool. All hole 11s. Let's take a look at the kickoff hole, Whispering Valley. This one was a fun one, I thought, to kick off with uh, just because it's a fun par 4. It, it's going to give you a bit of a challenge to kick things off. And I was trying to play uh, pretty uh, generously there because I didn't uh, want to end up to water and then have to start over um of course this earlier was uh, much more of a drivable setup this is catadreus beach number 11 hopefully when you guys play this course on friday you will have a clear-cut path to the green for a potential double eagle but this hole definitely needed to be included on there just because of that double eagle opportunity, you know, you guys had a nice double eagle chance with Pine Coast number 10 for last week's course. So we had to give you another one here. You're also going to have a couple of uh, par threes throughout this course to break up some of those longer drivable par fours. Sequoia Grove. This one can be tricky with higher winds, but because it's hole three, it should hopefully be pretty calm when you guys tackle it this Friday. Jamaica Bay, hole 11. Huge fan of the new tee boxes because you take all those trees out of play almost every single tee box. There are a few of them that are on the far left-hand side where you still have to cut around the trees, but hopefully clear cut, straight, no trees in the way, perfect eagle for you guys. Rustic Bridge, number 11. This is a fun one. Uh, this is sometimes drivable. I wanted to include this one um, just because there's always going to be in these best of series a hole or two that is not always drivable. But we got to throw it in there in case it ends up being that way come Friday. Should have probably hit the high three wood there. But hopefully you get a similar setup because then... You could have a nice uh, eagle opportunity. Or you could just do that. Oh, damn, thought I was going to make that chip. With, the, with all these best of series, it's tough because you want to include some of the fun holes, some of the holes that don't get a lot of love in Freaky Friday contests. Um, but you also want to make it playable for players of all skill levels. Gave Ranch Hole 11. This is a fun, uh, drivable par 4. You're either going to have a tee box over here where we just took off on, or you'll have one on the right-hand side where you're going to probably have to hit a five wood or a high three to get over some of those uh, hills and, and cactus. And then we'll probably end the preview here on hole seven. This is Mayfield number 11. Again, pretty clear cut shot through the trees there. Again, these are not the exact setups that you're going to see this Friday when it comes time to actually get out there to a Golden T 2020 location near you and safely play the daily contest that Freaky Friday. But hopefully IT Net will generate some pretty fun uh, setups and looks for you guys here. And just because, I'll try to ace this, probably hit a terrible shot, yep, oh well. That is your Freaky Friday preview for this week's The All Hole 11s. Uh, we got a lot to show you this week, including the kickoff of the GT 2021 trailers. Here's proof real quick that I made the eagle putt. Uh, forgot that I was showing just me and not the game. But uh, the trailer start today, you should have already watched the Monte Zabios trailer by the time that you see this preview. And we've got four other courses to show up through Friday, and then of course we'll be live for Freaky Friday. So stay tuned to goldentea.com and our social media, and we'll talk to you guys soon.